Today, we're exploring the trailblazing Gemini Pro 1.5, the newest addition to the Gemini model family. Having had a preview a month and a half ago, we're now plunging headlong into its newly expanded public capabilities. Excitement is the order of the day, folks. This model can chew through a veritable mountain of tokens. Wonder about the specialties of this beast? Just hop over to the Google Cloud Gemini blog post. It reveals some captivating use cases. As usual with Gemini models, this is a multimodal wonder, allowing us to delve into video, audio, code, and of course, text, processing mixed content like a pro. The real magic happens when you integrate this into your production applications. You might even enjoy fine tuning and building agents atop these Gemini models. Or perhaps you want to flex the API for custom use cases. Every scenario has a place in this enterprise offering to streamline Gemini into your workflows. Now let's get our hands dirty. I'm over here in Google Cloud in this fresh project. See this Try Gemini button? Clicking it will warp us to our journey start, a conversational interface. We'll just need to enable the Vertex AI API before we can get started. Recall how we toyed with Gemini Pro 1.0? This experimental model promises even better outcomes. But tread cautiously, Google mentions the experimental tag for a good reason. Also remember, it's in a preview state, so thankfully, no charges apply. All right, fasten your seatbelts. Time to tackle a PyTorch technical paper, a whopping 12 pages long, too large for mere small context window models to handle, but not for our model. Why don't we feed it this paper and ask it a question about its content? Notice how the answer mirrors the exact functions and methods detailed in the paper. Tempted to test its fortitude? Let's bombard it with an even meatier challenge. A detailed 87 page Palm AI system technical paper. Watch how effectively it digests this mountain of tokens. Why don't we dial up the drama by asking it to find a specific specification in this vast text, specifically the accuracy on a particular ML benchmark? It says 58%. Let's cross verify. Voila, 58% it is. There are a myriad of example prompts for you to use when exploring or integrating the multimodality. Of course, we can also ask for example code. For now, stick with the 1.0 model API and SDK, but we'll hopefully see this model's programmatic integration shortly. Keep the questions coming in the comment section and please enjoy responsibly.